Hello again. A fine day for many today. If you like, it's sunny and warm, but it's not that warm everywhere. There's always one or two exceptions, and the East Coast in particular, distinctly on the chilly side. And that'll be a feature of the weather for the next few days. Let's take a look at the big picture, and you can see the breeze just bringing in that cloud to parts of northeast England especially. It's generally quite cloudy across much of Scotland. There is a little bit of drizzly rain in the far north, but western Scotland much brighter and much drier than yesterday, along with Northern Ireland. Now, further south, the warmth might just spark one or two showers. Now, they'll be very hit and miss. Most places won't see them. But if you do catch one, it could turn out to be pretty heavy. It may even turn into a thunderstorm. Now, you can tell by the temperature contours just how warm it's going to be across England and Wales. The orangey colours here compared to the greens across much of Scotland, where it's cloudier, and down some of those North Sea coasts. So, big contrast in the temperatures. In the sunshine, low 20s, where it's cloudy on that misty, murky coast. We're only looking at, well, teens at best. Now, that low cloud, as we run through the evening and night, just watch it seep back inland across these eastern counties of England. So, it's only quite misty here. The drizzly rain in northern Scotland should fizzle out, and any showers will quickly disappear across the south. So, for many here, it'll be a, a clear night. Temperatures dropping to about 9 or 10 in towns and cities, a little lower in rural areas. Into Wednesday, and again, for many, it will be sunny. But, as you can see, it is going to be quite a drab start across much of eastern England, parts of the Midlands too, and eastern Scotland. Now, that cloud will move back to the coast, but some of those North Sea coasts will stay rather misty and murky all day. In the south, well, there's, again, the very small chance of a shower, but for the majority, across England, Wales, western Scotland, northern Ireland, fine and sunny. And again, as you can imagine, it will be warm in that sunshine. Again, temperatures getting into the low to maybe mid-20s. But again, with the breeze off the North Sea, especially where it stays misty and murky, temperatures are going to struggle here. We're only looking at, well, 10 or 11 in some places. Uh, we may get into the teens. And just a bit inland across Norwich here, we could get into 16, 17. But on the North Norfolk coast, it will be much cooler than that. So it does make a big difference, uh, that breeze coming in from the North Sea. Through Wednesday evening, again, we'll start to see that mist and low cloud just trickling back slowly inland. And what's this coming up from the near continent? The threat of some thundery showers breaking out through the course of Wednesday night and into Thursday. And that will be uh, the big thing we need to keep an eye on through Thursday and Friday. The risk of showers across parts of the south. Now, the warmth, the humidity likely to make these showers quite heavy and thundery, but they will continue to be somewhat hit and miss. And again, temperatures really responding to the sunshine. Lovely day in Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, temperatures getting to 20 degrees, but that east coast again struggling in the teens. And further south, it will be cooler because there will be more cloud around from the threat of showers. And that threat of showers continues through Friday and even into the weekend as well. So a continued risk of some thunderstorms. But overall, for most of us, the rest of this week, including the bank holiday weekend, looks largely sunny. And also signs it could get warmer still through the weekend. We'll update you on that over the next few days. There's always much more information on the Met Office website.